Steve, we had a few days post Exeter. Just to settle, have you had a chance to reflect on how the campaign ended at Sandy Park and the campaign as a whole? What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think um, just reflecting on the, the last game in Exeter is bitterly disappointing for us. Um, I don't think we um, performed the way we would like to. Um, a couple of major things in the game cost us. Um, and ultimately, not to qualify is really disappointing. But I think when you look back, we always look at performance and performance wasn't where it needed to be to qualify from such um, a tough group. Um, so yeah, it, it's taken a while to get over. It's still lingering, I think, a little bit in the fact of how close we got, yet we didn't qualify for quarterfinals and destiny was our own hands and we didn't quite achieve where we wanted to go. Um, and then when I look at the campaign as a whole, I think it's a pretty outstanding effort from the group um, to take four points in France, to win all our own games, which is what we set out to do. Um, and in fairness, we've, we've asked the group to do, do a hell of a lot of work and th I think they've really stepped up to the mark and like I say, it was just disappointing we, we couldn't quite finish it off. It was the tightest pool in the history of the competi of European Cup competition going back 21 years. Uh, and when you look at it, the last 10 minutes of the pool, it changed time and time again so that all four teams had a chance to snatch it. Do, is, does that make it something you reflect back on, perhaps easier to take not qualify in? Or being so agonisingly close in those last 10 minutes um, to actually make it worse? Yeah, I think all the permutations don't really sort of bother me. I think it's probably... There's, there's really contrasting emotions around it and around the pride of the first five games and what we achieved and how the boys battled on and then just coming up so short and in particular about our performance. I think that was the most, that's the hardest thing for me is the, the qualification. If we performed, I think we would have got qualification, but we weren't quite where we needed to be um, on such a big occasion. is disappointing, but on reflection, you know how hard the boys work and the efforts they put in and to go to Bordeaux, go to Claremont, to pick up two points apiece, to beat Claremont and, pe and extra Bordeaux home, I think is a massive achievement and a massive step in the right direction for us. But ultimately it boiled down to that last game and it, it is a real disappointing moment for us. Have you had a chance to review it? You've, you've looked at it, you've done the analysis. Would you be able to put your finger on where it didn't quite happen for us on Sunday? Yeah, I don't think, um, I probably, I think being 14-7 down at half time, uh, considering the amount of ball and things extra had and how many sort of errors we made, I think it's probably, it was probably pretty comfortable to a point and being four, just in touch of 14-7. But I did feel the conditions were starting to come in and I thought we had the best of that and I did think we'd probably claw way back and then 14-10 and obviously the yellow card is a, is a massive moment in the game for us but we sh still should manage those moments a little bit better post that but we've given too many cheap tries away but ultimately when we we got any field position we, we we didn't really sort of look after the ball well enough and how detail and a few things were out so ultimately yes it was a disappointing performance across the board i don't think we got a foothold in the game at all at, at for many stages and i thought extra in fairness Played pretty well, but we, we let them into into some of the game. It was up against big spending French giants, one of the high flyers in the English Premiership, Bordeaux near the top end of the French league as well. We were always up against it, and I think the public opinion when we kicked off the campaign was that we were going to be at the bottom end and not compete like we did. So it's a positive, it's a stride forward from last year. Um, what would you look at were the positives as a whole that you can take out of the campaign? I just think how we've managed games in round Exeter and Bordeaux home. We went perfect against Bordeaux home, but we managed to eke out the win. I thought Exeter, the second half performance, was outstanding in the fact of how we controlled the game and how we got the job done. Um, I think going to France and being really positive and how we're going to get points out of the game and not fearing going to France and trying to cling on and just going there and believing in ourselves and going there and playing some really attractive stuff. And then Bordeaux the same. Um, and then, uh, then on the flip side, it was a giant defensive effort against to beat Claremont. Um, look, obviously, a giants in the European history, and to beat those with such young group of players out there, in particular that second half, I think is huge for us going forward. It's just making sure now we we go and build on these moments and reflect on probably we had some big moments in Bordeaux where potentially that that two points could have been turned into four or potentially five points. Um, so I think in around those moments we look back on how proud we are and how some of the performances have been really good and we've definitely got to take the positives out of that and 
looked at where we can improve on and how we can be a little bit more efficient and probably conceding too many early points away in France doesn't help us and but how the mindset the spirit of the group to keep coming back and keep pushing boundaries and ultimately never say die in around certain aspects because we were probably a couple of seconds away from getting nothing in Claremont but the boys keep playing and, and keep having a crack of things and some young boys who've never experienced Europe before and not only that probably not too much sort of game time in the Guinness so I think for a squad I think we're going to learn a hell of a lot from it um, and it's something that we, we're hoping to kick on in particular this next period now those young guys using that experience to drive us on over the next five games You touched on some of the youth um, two 19 year olds and a 20 year old making the European campaign an average age on the field on Sunday just 24 it does bode well moving forward but as much as we talk about youth there's no time for them to actually feel their way in they've got to hit the ground running and this next period that you're talking about they've got a real job to do yeah it's going to be a, a huge huge task for them and like we're asking them to get up to speed pretty quickly in fairness um, they're doing so the best the way they can and some of them are probably not standing performance in Europe and they're still learning they're far from the finished articles but in fairness they, they get across their work and they understand what a big period is we enjoyed Europe this year and we definitely want to be in there next year so it's something we, we understand the next five games uh, will determine probably how, how we finish up at the back end of the season and we know where it is and probably we're going to be relying on a hell, hell of a lot more young kids. It hurts you a little bit, but again, we've got it'll be a real test for some more young kids to come in. And you look at Glasgow Warriors on Sunday, the champions, one place below us on the table, but a couple of games in hand, it's crucial that we get the right performance the right outcomes this weekend. Yeah, definitely is something that we've definitely got to be focusing on the performance and in fairness the group they dusted themselves down. I know a lot of boys have got on six nations, but the, there's a lot of hungry boys who are desperate to play and then you've got some guys who ultimately know what we need to be in around this period and Glasgow on Sunday is a massive game for us and we've got to get that performance right to to certainly get the outcome against Glasgow. And hopefully get the fans replicating what they've done in some tight games this season, Exeter at home, Clement at home and even down in Exeter last weekend as well, getting behind the team and creating right. that atmosphere. Yeah, look, the support has been fantastic and around it, and even post-game was pretty deflated, just speaking to some of them. I think there was a definite pride in what we've done throughout Europe, um, but ultimately it was just disappointing we couldn't um, sort of get what we felt we really wanted and potentially we, we were close to getting and we, everyone would love to be, get a quarter-final, but the support we've had, and I think... The last 20 minutes against Claremont was something special um, and when you look through the European Cup campaign there's a lot of special moments but the crowd in around it, it does make a difference to those young kids and it's just, I just felt that was pushing us on against Claremont and definitely got us home in around that back end of the game and this period we're going to need our support to really back us through this period. Yeah.